It's time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with Florence Villeneuve. Hey, Hi, Flo. Today we're going to focus on an interesting phenomenon, and that's France's relationship to the British royal family. And for a country that so famously chopped off the head of its own king, many people here are quite intrigued by the monarchy. That's right, and this was particularly visible when Queen Elizabeth II passed away. Of course, her passing sent shockwaves around the world, but I was personally really amazed by the extent of the reaction here in France. It was front page news for days. There was rolling news on all the major channels. The Eiffel Tower's lights were turned off. Uh, flags were lowered at half-mast at the presidential palace. You can see there was the French flag, the European flag, and also the Union Jack. Uh, and what's interesting is a lot of people actually gathered right down the road from the Elysee Palace, where is the uh, British uh, embassy. A lot of people uh, gathered there to pay their respects because you don't have have to be, uh, you didn't have to be a royalist to admire the Queen. Take a listen. I was sad last night. She's someone who for centuries has worked for values which stretch further than just those of everyone in the UK. And there were also a lot of reactions across the French political spectrum as well. Absolutely. Even the leader of the Communist Party tweeted his respects to the Queen. Must be said, though, the mourner-in-chief was President Emmanuel Macron. Uh, he did a lot of things to show uh, France's respect for the Queen. He signed a book of, of condolences. You can see it here at the British Embassy. He also tweeted uh, extensively about a friend of France, a kind-hearted Queen who has left her mark on her country and her century forever. And he even released a video in English. Take a listen. To you, she was your queen. To us, she was the queen. To us all, she would be with us forever. We will remember and perpetuate the values she never ceased to embody and promote. The moral fortitude of democracy and freedom. So a lot of affection, of course, from the Queen for France, and the Queen herself had a lot of affection for France as well. In fact, outside of the Commonwealth, France was arguably the country she visited the most in the world. And it's so interesting to see footage of those visits, because you can really see time as it goes along, of at least uh, six state visits, and then many more for personal reasons as well. She met so many presidents. Uh, you can We earlier saw René Coty. You can see her there uh, with Charles de Gaulle. She met all the presidents of the Fifth Republic. So Charles Charles de Gaulle, Georges Pompidou, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, François Mitterrand, Jacques Chirac, Nicolas Sarkozy, François Hollande, and more recently, Emmanuel Macron. I love seeing the styles change as you see this it's footage a great here. Hat. <laughs> great hats all along the way. Now, for many people, she was actually a symbol of Franco-British uh, friendship and the Entente Cordiale, which hasn't always been very cordial. If you look at the history between France and, uh, and uh, the UK, uh, many, many wars there, if we look back in history, a lot of people feel that she represented deep ties between France and, and the UK, much more than, say, spats between governments who can't figure out if they're friends or foes, or deeper divorces like a Brexit. And what's interesting, and it's a very fun fact, she spoke really good French, almost perfect French. Je me rappelle le plaisir que j'ai eu à découvrir ce beau pays pour la première fois et à cultiver à mon tour une grande affection pour le peuple français. It's very impressive. <laughs> and staying with this theme of languages, it actually might be one of the keys to understanding France's fascination with, with the UK and with the British royal family. I was really trying to get my head around it because France is particularly fascinated with the British royal family, not, say, the Spanish royal family or the Belgian royal family. Where does this fascination come from, even though we're very proud of our Republican values? I mean, even my dad, he knows a lot about the British royal family, even though I don't think he reads tabloids. Now, several people mentioned uh, to me the fact that they learned about the British royal family when they were learning English. And so that's why our expression du jour is <laughs> the queen, because, of course, French people uh, have a hard time saying the. Perhaps this might explain the attachment to the British royal family. The. 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 C'était un symbole. Dans ma tête, elle était immortelle. Ça va plus être pareil. Par exemple, la reine, habituellement, elle est colorée. Et là, euh, ce sera un roi et il sera moins coloré. 
That little boy there mentioned the new king, King Charles III. The big question now is whether that mutual love affair between France and the British monarchy will actually continue with the new king. It's a tricky one because I think a lot of it actually came down to the queen herself. She commanded a lot of respect and that can't really be said for her son who tends to draw more jokes uh, than admiration. It's a little bit of a different story though when you look at the younger princes, William and Harry. A lot of people tuned in here in France to watch those royal weddings. So perhaps the fast nation will continue uh, down the line. Now, in the meantime, if uh, French people really miss the Queen, they can head to the uh, Wax Museum here in Paris, where her spitting image is getting a royal treatment. It's a personnage quand même uh, qui mérite d'avoir uh, beaucoup d'attention en termes de, de qualité de peinture et de, de coiffure, uh, vu qu'elle est beaucoup uh, prise en photo uh, et beaucoup touchée aussi. Uh, on, on, quand même, on accorde beaucoup d'attention à, à ce personnage en particulier. Et elle a beaucoup de succès. <laughs> So a lot of respect there for the Queen. Let's give the last note of this show to the Queen. I like this. She, it kind of sums up Franco-British relations, I think. She says, we may drive on different sides of the road, but we're going in the same direction. Oh, well spoken, <laughs> as the Queen often was. Thanks so much for that, Flo. Don't forget, if you want to take a closer look at any of the French connections, you can check them out on the website. That address is France24.com. And you can also tweet Flo at Flo Villeminot.